So this is math 88. This is the midterm practice. And we are going to work on solving this equation that's right here, the 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. So I could run it through quadratic formula and get my answers, and that's a, that's a fine approach. Um, I think I'm going to try and factor it. So I got my 2x squared and my 6. And one of the things that I know is that this and this will multiply to the same thing. So 2x squared times 6 is 12 x squared. So what I want is some things that multiply to 12 x squared. I'm just going to focus on, you know, on just the 12 right now, but that add to 7. So things that multiply to 12, uh, 1 and 12, 2 and 3 is not correct, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, there they are right there, 3 and 4, that multiplies to 12 and adds to 7. So that means that like I'd have like a, a 3x and a, and a 4x. Notice how 3x times 4x is 12x. 3x plus 4x is 7x. So now what I need to do is, is factor this. And I could factor it in the square if I wanted. Like take a square out, a x out of both of these. There's a 2x in both of these. There's a 2 in both of these. There's a 3 in both of these. Or I could split that 7x up as a 3x and a 4x. 2x squared plus 3x plus 4x. There's my 7x in the middle. Plus 6. And then factor by grouping, which is basically what I did over here. But take this group, take this group. So I could take out a, uh, an x from here, leaving me an x, a 2x plus 3. And I can take out a 2 from here. I notice if I take out a 2, that leaves me a 2x here and a 3 here. So I have a 2x plus 3. I can factor that out now since I'm factoring by grouping. 2x plus 3 times x plus 2 equals 0. So these two things, this times this, is equal to 0. So that means that either this is 0 or this is 0. And if I solve those both, uh, on the right-hand side here, subtract 2 from both sides, x equals negative 2. On this left-hand side, subtract 3 from both sides, divide by 2, and x equals negative 3 halves or negative 2. And there's my two answers.